Master Windu. How pleasant of you to join us. This party's over. There we go. Hey guys, it's Yoda Joe 93 Welcome back to a new a new video. If you guys haven't told, can't tell from the video right right now that's being uploaded, I have a whole new setup for you guys. I got a brand new ring light so you guys can see my, my backdrop looking really nice. Um, so today we will be talking about a video that is long overdue, and that is the rumor that Kevin Feige, president of Marvel Studios, will be taking over the Star Wars. And so not only am I going to talk about what it would look like him taking over Star Wars and why I think he's the best person for this job, but also who would be his team, who would be his cabinet of Lucasfilm, basically. So there's a rumor that Kevin Feige is going to take Kathleen Kennedy's job, which, if what you've told me is true... You have gained my trust. If what you've told me is true, you will have gained my trust. Because this would be the best news that ever happened. Because say whatever you will about problems that come from fighting over Facebook. everything. Do you have something like that within Marvel Studios? We do. I mean, we have the core group of, of filmmakers of the executive producer teams, again, who we've been together almost 10 years. And it's a little internal group that, for various reasons, we call Parliament, not the least of which is we often yell at each other across tables. <laughs> um, and keeping track of that is not as complicated, I think, for us as it is for Star Wars. We've got 10 years. Star Wars got 40 plus years. But it really comes out of each individual film and what's best for each individual story that we're telling but it is the core group of filmmakers that work on all these movies that keep track of all that kevin feige thank you thank so you. much Pleasure. for coming by congratulations Pleasure. on the first 10 years thank you go go see infinity war you're you're probably gonna go That'd see infinity cool. war we don't need to tell these people right. to go see infinity war <laughs> phase five the man is dedicated and he just was spread too thin similar to palpatine you know stretching the roots of the jet i feel like disney stretched kevin feige so far, they didn't know what direction to focus on, so he's only focusing on the bigger projects here. But what I think is just genius, guys, is getting to see Kevin Feige deliver. He delivered on Phase 3, building a cohesive story. He built the multiverse. Before he did the multiverse saga, he crushed the Infinity Saga, building movies that centered together. And why I think Star Wars is perfect for Kevin Feige, even more so than Marvel, is he has knowledge of Star Wars, but he also... He, he, he said he took a lot of ideas from Star Wars for the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And there's actually an Easter egg in almost all Phase 2 movies. Kevin Feige shows the Star Wars tradition that almost every several characters throughout Phase 3 and 2 lose their hands as the Star Wars age-old tradition. Which I think is pretty genius. And I love how that's added to you. So he's got some Star Wars flavor to there. You know, you got a little bit of Thanos and Gamora kind of give you a little bit of Luke and Vader in there. So you got some father-son father-daughter dynamics, which is really cool. So he knows how to tell stories about family. He knows how to do all these amazing things. Um, but also, Star Wars doesn't always have... Not every Star Wars story has to be 100% connected, like the MC, where like, oh, you're watching a movie. Oh, this has to lead into Secret Wars. This has to lead into Infinity War, because it's big events. Star Wars doesn't always have to have big events. Star Wars can tell one story centered around a character, and it might be in one timeline... And it will connect to the story in terms of you're, you're stamping Star Wars on it. But there's so many different timelines. So, you know, like like Deadpool says, you know, we're taking you to the Professor. Which one? Macvor Stewart. All these timelines are so confusing. So here you wouldn't have that confusion. You, you want to tell a story in the High Republic? Kevin Feige brings in Brie Larson, plays a main character. Oh, well, here we go. Now you, now you, have, now you have something over here. And he could bring his cabinet and caliber of actors who love working with him, over to, from Marvel to, to Star Wars. So maybe Robert Downey Jr. could play a, play a villain in Star Wars, or a hero. Um, maybe, like, yeah, they talked about Brie Larson for High Republic. Samuel Jackson's already jumped between both. So that motherfucker's definitely going to come back. So he would tell a story with Mace Windu. Um, so I think this would be great. But I also think it's important to talk about, so if he's the president of Marvel, or, or so if he goes over after Secret Wars to become the president of, of Star Wars, who is his team? Kathleen Kennedy's out the door. She gets the boot. So we need a whole new team to build up. We already have Dave Filoni doing a great job with the story group, but Dave just doesn't have the business persona um, to do the amazing uh, job of, um, of running Lucasfilm by itself. I know a lot of people want Dave Filoni to be the one running Lucasfilm, but he just doesn't have the chops that we need from the business standpoint. If you look at DC, I love James Gunn, but James Gunn does all the story ideas, where Peter Safran is going to be our money man. You know, he's going to be 
hey, James, you got a thousand bucks on this project. And they can kind of choose what they want to do there. And it is just really brilliantly told and really amazing. And I just love how this is sounding. And so you can see so many cool ideas here. And Kevin has the flair to make something absolutely remarkable. The, you want to know why Kathleen Kennedy canceled um, Kevin Feige's Star Wars movie? Because she's scared shitless that he's coming for that ass and he's coming for that tower too. And and shout out to Den of Nerds for that one because giving us that one. Oh, oh, not this time, Joshy boy. I'm coming for that tower. I'm coming for that ass. <laughs> Good old Mickey's telling him, you know, and Mickey's and the House of Mouse is saying, yeah, Kevin, you need to replace that Kathleen shitty over there because she is not doing good. And we need to get those numbers. Otherwise, Goofy's going to come over and he's going to be like, oh, he's going to be, oh, gosh, you're stealing my money. You got my money, Kathleen. Kim Feige's going to go over there, pop him off, be like, be like, you got, you got my money, Miss Kathleen? Where's my mother crooking money? I'm going to make your life a living nightmare, Kathleen, if you don't give me my motherfucking company. <laughs> so, yeah, I think this is a great idea. I think the idea of Kevin having Dave and John. And he also asked, like, who would John Favreau bring? Who, who would, who would uh, Kevin Feige surround himself in his cabinet? Well, someone has to run Marvel when he leaves. And I've been saying this for years. I love John Favreau, what he did with The Mandalorian. But John Favreau needs to be the new president of Marvel because he did, he started the MCU. He made a banger in Iron Man 1. And unlike the controversial opinion, I think Iron Man 2 is still a solid film. I just think they shoved too many things at once trying to set up the Avengers in one movie. So I think John Favreau has learned enough as a producer to handle running the Marvel Cinematic Universe with kind of texting Kevin back and forth and just kind of keeping him in the loop. And then, of course, you got Dave Filoni who's doing amazing work. Let him write stories. Run it by Kevin so Kevin can guide everything through. And that way, Kevin can be more hands-on with the projects, which I think would be absolutely brilliant. But then also, not only would you run through with the projects, you could have amazing things like, um, like let's get Sam Witwer, not just as characters anymore, but let Sam Witwer have his, his chance to direct and do the writing for Star Wars. Because the man has literally challenged Dave Filoni on knowledge. He has won Star Wars trivia competitions. This man knows his shit. And if you piss him off with the wrong lore questions, he'll go Maul and Starkiller on your ass all at once. So what, So the team should be Sam Witwer, Story Group. Then you gotta have Dave Filoni, Story Group. John Favreau, Story Group. Running the Mandoverse cohesively with those three. This would be the big three, or I should say the big four, of the Star Wars universe. President Kev, story group, story group being executive producer, John Favreau, story ideas, Dave Filoni, and of course, let's also get, um, let, let, let's also get, um, get Sam Whitworth. And not only Sam Whitworth, but let's, I don't know if he'll do it, but let's bring George Lucas as a consultant. Let's get Nick Gillard back. Let's have Hayden and Nick Gillard as consultants for choreography. I think it would be brilliant. So anyway, guys, if you enjoyed my video about Kevin Feige's Star Wars, let me know what you're thinking in the comments below. I absolutely love this idea. I know it's a rumor, but I think this would be really cool, and I'm hoping it happens. As always, if you enjoyed my video, make sure you hit the like, share, and subscribe button. And as always, I'll catch you in the next video. May the Force be with you. Have a marvelous day. Whoa!